on, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. Oh man, and the robot is in motion, check it out. The LR Mate, this thing is a beast. It's quick, right? All right, before we get started, I just wanna say, if you love education, you love this trade, you wanna bring awareness, you wanna take your skills to another level, please like and subscribe to this channel. If you have comments, put it down in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer them. Boom. So check this out. I thought, you know what, let's actually give you guys an update on where we are with our robo drill and our automation division of the academy, right? We're gonna be teaching automation, teaching CNC machining, teaching how robots and CNC machines work together and basically just pulling back the curtains to teach all of it. A lot of people say robots kill jobs, but it's simply not true. If we as machine shop owners understand the technology, we understand the machines and we understand how to program and tool up the robots, we can actually bring that work back and machine it in our own countries. For instance, when you look at the cell phone industry, they're actually automating the entire process of making a cell phone, right? So it doesn't matter how much they're getting paid, the entire process is automated with CNC machines and robots. Why can't we take all of that and actually bring it into our own shops to create the work here to employ our people to put food on our tables, all right? No matter where you live, in America, Canada, Brazil, Australia, the UK, you deserve to make your own parts to create wealth in your country. All right, so now back to the Fanuc Robo Drill. One thing I'm gonna say is like this thing is small, but it is mighty, okay? You can already see how fast the robot is moving. But what is awesome is the Robo Drill actually moves faster. We're talking 24,000 RPMs. We're talking 1.3 seconds chip to chip. The rapids are 2,100, 2,100 inches per minute. The feed rate is 1182 inches per minute. This thing is incredibly fast. So you got the machine, incredibly fast. You got the robots. So let me tell you one of the things that we had to do because of all that's going on. First thing is we actually bolted the machine to our floor. You can see it's bolted here, bolted here, bolted all around so that it has nice rigidity and it's locked to the floor. The robot is actually bolted to the floor also because you need both of them, the FANUC Robo Drill and the robot to be locked solid so you have the repeatability, all right? Now, another thing I wanna point out is how the industry is evolving, right? You guys see, we actually have an amazing cobot, a green FANUC robot that actually works right alongside people. You touch it, it stops. It's never going to hurt you. It's just going to help you. And if you wanna learn how to program it, check out our video where Tyson taught exactly how to program chess moves when he beat me, all right? Now the yellow robot is like the most famous robot. That's the one we see from Fanuc all the time. And you can see that it's incredibly fast. But what you notice is it's not inside a cage, right? Years ago, you'd always see these robots inside of a cage, but now it's right behind a glass. So when you actually look up here, you can see the green light. We got double green lights, one for the machine, one for the robot, okay? This is safe. This means we are in movement and everything is good. Now, when you actually come down, you can see a safe zone sensor, and that's this bad boy. It knows exactly where I'm at. Now check this out. I'm gonna come over here, boom. Oh, look at that, look at that. 10%, we're in a warning zone, all right? You can look up at the light, it's yellow. It's nice and slow. Now, if I actually step in, boom. Red light, it sensed that I was in the area and it stopped. There's no way that this robot's going to hurt me, even though we're open to the elements, all right? Check this out. If I come back, it's moving fast, Oh, look at that, look at that. I was, I was pretty quick and it stopped. So it's extremely safe, it's extremely fast, and it's all about automation and getting parts done quickly. So a lot of you guys know Jacob. Jacob, what's up, brother? How you guys doing? Uh, so Jacob, 21 years old, actually started out at Rockland High School. You've seen him in some videos, and uh, now he has an opportunity of a lifetime. 21 years old, crazy opportunity making it happen. 
I've been impressed with Jacob from the very beginning. When he was in high school, we were feeding him the new curriculum that we were using in the prison system that eventually became Titans of CNC Academy. And Jacob and the students and the teacher were kind of like the guinea pigs actually testing everything out, making sure everything was good. They gave us great advice, great feedback, learned how to machine on the building blocks. And now he works here at Titans of CNC teaching curriculum. Three and a half years running. Boom, <laughs> so good. So Jacob. Amazing machine, amazing robot, right? It's absolutely amazing. Who wouldn't want to work in a robot cell? You know what I mean? Making yeah. things quicker, automation, that's what it's about. Yeah, and there you go. The younger generation, they get computers, they get automation, they get multitasking because they grew up on cell phones and they grew up on computers and stuff. So that's why I have confidence in this guy. So Jacob, we're doing some really cool things already with it, right? So you just put in the vise. You want to talk a little bit about the vise you just put in? We do. Shunk sent us an amazing pneumatic vise to help with our automation cell. I don't want to say too much. We have a lot of videos coming out in the future, so look forward to it. Awesome. So that's our first project and we're already filming it. So for me as a shop owner, I just want to wrap my head around how automation works. So we actually brought in the pneumatic vise. We looked at the robot. We looked at the tooling on the robot. We looked at the tooling on the vise and then found a part that we're going to run in production. So as machinists, we're looking at this from a different standpoint. A lot of fingers are long. Hey, let's actually design our own fingers. Let's make them short and stubby so we have rigidity in that work holding. A lot of the work holding on the five axis on the shunk vise are long. Let's actually shrink that back. Let's actually start thinking as machinists, as manufacturers, and think about the process of taking a raw part, getting it into the machine, getting it machine, getting it out of the machine, another part in the vise as quick as possible with a flawless process right with no chips or anything because everything has to be so perfect right? got coolant blowing out that off b so the robot can just set it in there nice super good so there you go man jacob you're doing an amazing job thanks and we are creating curriculum to teach you how to actually run this machine and that robot and the entire process from conveyor belt and raw stock to finished parts how to program all of it so you can run lights out and make money. If you are a CNC machinist or you love automation or robots, make sure you look for these videos because these videos are free and they're going to help your skills go to a whole nother level. Oh.